Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Black Falls. You remember last time in the last episode, we had some issues with seeing our pipes, didn't we? We couldn't see them at all. I uninstalled precision engineering and guess what? Pipes are back. Pipes are back. It was definitely that mod that was causing that issue. So if you have that issue, check precision engineering. Jeez, I can't not say that word. Precision. Precision engineering. Oh, oh man. Uh, if you have the issue, check that mod because that's what was doing it for me anyway. The other mod kind of suffices, doesn't it though? Like... It doesn't have the angle locks that Precision Engineering has, but uh, it, it certainly tells you what angle you're working at, and that's really all you need. Uh, anyway, let's get some piping done in this area because we want to get this guy rolling. We've got a residential demand. We have a negative 8 population at this point, so we have to do something about this. Let's get our pipes laid. We are going to do kind of just a grid pattern with the pipes because there's no magic to this. And let's see here. Start there, go up at 94.6 degrees. 90 degrees. Little bit of a thing there, so we'll just cover that off. Go to the road, whoop, right click. So I had a comment the other day uh, from a viewer saying, "Hey, your you know your audio quality is good, your videos are good, your commentary is good. Why don't you have more subscribers?" And the, and the reason for this is, it takes a boatload of time to get noticed by the YouTube community and to get people involved in your channel, watching your videos, giving you feedback, all that sort of stuff. I mean, there are musicians out there, guys. This is very similar to the music industry. There are musicians out there that are better than 95% of the people that have recording deals and they just won't get discovered because that's the nature of the entertainment business. You have to get that ball rolling. Once you get the ball rolling, then you're fine, but getting the ball rolling is the hardest part. So this is what needs to be done. And I'm gonna ask you guys for your help because I do wanna get the channel to grow. Even if you know I max out at 25,000 subscribers, you know, a fairly tight-knit community is perfectly fine with me, but I'd like to share this with as many people as I can. This is what I have to ask of you as a favor. Watching the videos is fantastic and giving me feedback is fantastic, but the key to the internet these days is sharing, right? If you like the channel and you think, hey, one of my buddies would like watching these videos or, or whatever, you know, share the video, Facebook. Uh, next time somebody asks, uh, what's a good let's play to watch for game X and you know that I do that game pop my name in You know, just give me a, a vote co vote of confidence in the thread It'll do immense wonders for the channel. I promise every time I've gone to reddit to post a video Saying here's a new guide I put out not I don't do my day-to-day -day Let's play posts because that gets annoying for people, but when I do a guide on something I'll post it the amount of views you can get from a reddit post is is amazing I've had you know I finally one day hit that 301 cap where they won't show any more views because they have to actually check to see if it's not bots watching it etc those posts are the most most valuable I get tons of subscribers out of them tons of views if you could help me doing that that would be the biggest benefit the biggest thing that you could do to help my channel grow so and I would thank you immensely for doing that guys because when I do it people get pissed off you know even though I do it once or twice a month it's amazing that people get angry about that when, you know, if I wrote a word-for-word -word guide on an issue, people would be like, oh yeah, thanks very much. But as soon as it's a YouTube channel, it's like you're, you're freaking Hitler. I don't know what it is about Reddit, but they hate people posting about guides and Let's Plays and, and whatever. It, it's a really, really odd concept. But anyway, if it comes from somebody else and not the content creator, then... Yeah, people are pretty happy to, you know, go watch and, and upvote it. So if you guys could do that, I would appreciate it very, 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 very much. Okay, without further ado, we have now installed our pipes. So we've got that going for us. We need to do our residential zoning, and this is going to be all low density because this is just your basic uh, inner city, old style, well, somewhat old style residential neighborhood. So we're just going to do low density industrial through this whole thing and why am I clicking when I could simply do something like this and get most of it done in a fell swoop. So that's what we are going to do. 
Let's just zone this bad boy up and it'll be ready for us to go. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of awkward. Whoops. Kind of awkward there. I just want to grab one of these squares. We'll do it like right up to about there. Let's grab this guy. And uh, do this back bit. Missed the spot there. And these guys here. This tool is kind of, it's nice sometimes and other times it can be extremely awkward. So let's, uh, is that it? Let's just double check that we got everything. I'm going to dezone these guys here because I don't really want to uh, don't really want to have that street zoning just yet. This is okay though. And let's get no that's that's cool. Right on the corner is fine. You know what? I think I'm going to zone these guys in as well cuz this street is starting to develop, so we might as well get everything in this area on the roll. And yeah, that looks right. We won't do anything by the fire station here. In fact, let's dezone that. And how did this little guy get there? Uh, let's... Okay, you can keep your house, man. That's fine. It's just this tiny little house right on the corner. And it's got a bunch of people in front of it. Is that a bus stop? No, they're just walking by and the game is paused. Unpause. There we go. Okay, people, we have a big, big residential area. This should take care of all of our demand and more. Let's speed up the game and watch this fill in. Of course, they don't have power yet because we're not developed into there, but I am not worried because it will fill up very, very fast. Hopefully, do not run out of demand before these guys get power because I don't want to put power lines in. Uh, we, we might end up getting screwed here. Please, just three more houses right there. They're not going to do it. Wow, did that ever... Like, our residential demand was, like, killed within seconds. Uh, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trick this a little bit. We'll come back and, and change this back later. But since we have some commercial, I will put some uh, commercial zoning right here just to, just to get this to move. Whoops, I broke that guy's house. Yeah, that should fill in in a hurry, and then we'll get the electricity there. Will it? Will it not? Okay, well, they got power somehow. I don't know how, because that guy wouldn't be carrying the power. Really? Well, look at it made the jump from here to here, so we don't even need this. Let's take that out. I'm a little cheesed off, you know, that, that even the low density uh, commercial will create noise to the point where people will be kind of pissed off that they live next to it because in these areas, they do have little commercial areas like corner stores or, or you know, well, back in the, I was going to say video rental stores, but Jesus, what year is it? 1995 or what? Like not video rental stores anymore, um, like convenience stores and that sort of thing, but that happens, and what did we get in here? Sub suburban Miss. What is that? Is that like some sort of a clothing store for women? And a gas station, or an oil change place. Well, a gas station. That's a gas pump. Suburban Miss. That not quite what I was going for on this street corner, but you know, let let's do so. Let's do a little experiment here. Take that out. We'll do like just tiny little zone right there and see what we get okay get out of there already you don't have zoning anymore will we get anything neat there like i just want a little store that's all i want a little store okay anytime now and it's not gonna do it yeah uh, we'll check back we'll check back on it so how is our coverages in this area we need a school badly. We need another elementary school. We've got, uh, where is it? Right here. This is our only elementary school right now. And um, we need another one in a, in a bad way because I checked the education levels here. And we're already in the yellow. Uh, and high schools were fine. We're fine for high schools even though the coverage is bad. Uh, but the elementary school, we are deficient. So we should get one in in this, in this neighborhood. And I think, you know, nice and central right here would be 
pretty all right. So let's uh, let's grab elementary school and uh, pop that sucker right there. Now we have been doing you know things with elementary schools and, and our services where we put in yards and stuff like that, and I don't think this one should be any different. Let's give it some space. And uh, what what kind of things could be put in there? What do we have? I've got a bunch of little. Uh, add-ons and or you know little assets city park six by six i don't think that's appropriate for this area a little big too far these are all the farm ones what else do i have a well, merry-go-round at a school just doesn't sit right with me skate park very progressive school we could put a skate park in uh, that'd be kind of cool, and it would make the neighborhood happy. Can we get any, like, trees into this? Around this area? Let's do a little tree border. The Dr. Seuss trees, as I like to call them. That's a little big, buddy. I'll put you right on the corner. Okay. Hmm, no, a little too interesting. Should we put some weed right by the elementary school? Like, like a huge plantation by the teacher's lounge? Okay, look, so these have little icons now, which is really cool. Pine tree. How does that look? Yeah, we could do some pine trees. Do we want to do, like, a, a, a corner kind of thing? Ooh, that is a big sucker right there. Okay, then we got a bit of space here yet. So what do we want to do there? I wonder just maybe some maybe some gravel pedestrian paths. Something real simple like this. And then do some shrubberies. Bring me a shrubbery. If you don't know what that's from, you're probably young. I age myself with every other episode. It's Monty Python for those that don't know. Uh, okay, some shrubs. And maybe a couple more right there. And then once the houses fill in, that'll look nice and full. Cool, cool. I like it. Uh, was that the elementary school I downloaded? Or was that just the regular one? I don't know. Let's, let's check that out. How many did I download? High school... Okay, that's the one I downloaded for sure. Uh, this I downloaded too. We should put this in eventually. It says big, big university. Um, not yet. Not yet. High school... I downloaded a, a different high school and a different elementary school. One each. Uh, okay. I like it. I dig it. Um, this area here, I zoned it, didn't I? I don't actually want to zone that as residential. I want this to be like the services block. And if we've got to put police in here, that's where it's going to go, is in this one as well. We should think about uh, a couple bus routes for this area. And I'm thinking probably... What is this? What is this? Tax is too high. I've never had such a complaint before. What kind of a thing was that? Residential? Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn is a residential Ho hotel. Holiday Inn. Why? It's not. This is not a commercial area. Tax is too high. Well, okay, fine. I'll I'll drop them down a bit. How about eleven percent? How's that? Abandoned. Okay. Yep. He complains and then he leaves once I lower the taxes. Let's slow this game down. I'm going way too fast here. Bus routes, let's do a few. Uh, we've got one covering here, and I think that's sufficient. We should do one kind of covering like this quadrant, one covering here, one covering, say, here, and then one covering kind of there. Let's get that laid down. Every couple of blocks, I would say, for a bus stop. And this is our central road. So we'll curve back, back, yeah, one there, and then close. Whoop! 
Did not mean to do that. Close it off right about there. Auto line color, excellent. Okay, another bus line in this quadrant, and I think we'll start it there. Have a bus stop very close to this so that they can transfer. Another one there. And, okay, very short, very efficient and short bus route. Let's get one for this area here. And we're not going to go interior on this one, I think. But we will do the other side of the street. So let's go there, there. And close to the blue line. We'll kind of mimic the stops there. And uh, we want to do one more or, or what? I think we maybe move this one back a bit. And then do a second one there and then close it off. Really auto line color? Like very similar to this one, isn't it? Pick some unique colors from time to time. Okay, one more. Starting on this side of the street, very close to red line. We'll mimic the bus stop there. No, that is way too short. What am I doing? That's way too short of a bus route there. Uh, let's see. Go down the main road. Yeah, look right across from there, right across from this one. Do we want to go down this way? And then back. We, we could, but then it kind of throws us off on the other side of the street. So why don't we make this one go down to there? And then we'll do a couple stops along this road before we end up back at our starting point. Red again, come on! Auto bus line? Pick a different color. Lots of colors. Many, many, many colors. Okay, purple. That wasn't the one I intended to change. Must have been this one. Pinkish? Like salmon? Salmon pink? Uh, blue. I want to do this one. What's this one? What was that one? Line four? Line color. Let's do greenish. That's much better. Oh, no, we got a green one down there. We can't do that. Bluish, but different blue. Yeah, that's somewhat, you know, differentiates it, I guess. I think that's pretty good for buses. Uh, let's just review that one more time. We may end up having to do something interior here, but we do have fairly efficient pedestrian traffic. So we might not have to. We got some pedestrian traffic outlet there and there, although we don't have a bus stop very close to that. That should well, it probably shouldn't matter. We'll have to monitor this because I've never done so many in such a small area before. Yeah, like this guy's big, but it's not efficient. See, it's 11%, uh, just no good. Um, green, this little guy here is very efficient, and uh, I'm I'm expecting these to be very efficient as well. Although the ridership's going to be small, at least for now, until we fill this in. Time to start thinking about a metro uh, very soon just to run up and down this street and maybe up like up along here just like a big T uh, but not quite yet not quite yet but hey I think uh, that, that's gonna do it for the day guys thanks very much for watching please take to heart what I said earlier in the video about sharing and, and getting other people enthusiastic about the channel it would really mean a lot to me if you could but that's gonna be it for the day guys so thanks very much for watching bye bye